Hi, my name is Megan Edwards of Focus Communications, and today we're getting the latest update from SK Mining, which trades on the Toronto Venture Stock Exchange under the symbol ESK. Joining me today, we have Vice President of Exploration, John Decker. John, thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to the show. Hi, Megan. Thanks for having us. So for those new to SK Mining, could you provide an introduction to the story a bit of a background in your involvement in the company and a quick recap of last year's drill program on the project. Yeah, well, SK Mining Corp has a 526 square kilometer property in the Golden Triangle, pretty much surrounding uh, the SK Creek mine, which was historically the highest grade gold mine in the world. Um, what we've got are a host of, of volcanogenic massive sulfide deposits. We actually have several trends of these things on the property. Um, and, you know, going through our uh, historical um, work that's been on the property, it was pretty clear uh, that there's a fundamental lack of understanding about VMS systems and how to explore for them. And that's kind of where I came onto the project in late 2019. Um, SK Mining Corp brought Dr. Quentin Henney on as a director, and he recommended uh, that we uh, bring Thomas Monarchy, who's a leading v VMS expert on as a consultant. Monarchy was uh, my PhD advisor and recommended that I come onto this project. And I conducted a, a thorough data review um, of all the historical information on the property and saw that there was just a fundamental lack of understanding about VMS systems in general. And, um, you know, the, the geologic map of the property really left some room for um, improvement. It is very rugged country, um, so it is a difficult place to explore in, but it has world-class potential. And as you can see just briefly, it, you know, people have been exploring up here for over 100 years, but I would say it's really been within the last three years uh, that we've really cracked the nut on this property and started to uh, develop a um, geological and exploration model that's produced uh, the results that we've seen in the past couple of years with some of our biggest intercepts uh, ever on the property. Yeah, and you know, a lot of that work over the past two years has really built up towards um, developing a target generation model, and that's really what's guiding our uh, program this year is the work that we've done over the past two years. So we had you on the FCIR webinar series last month where you provided the latest overview from SK's VMS project in the Golden Triangle. And now you've recently announced commencement of the 2022 exploration campaign. Can you give us a bit of an overview of this year's program and the areas of focus for the company? Yes. Uh, well, our primary focus again is going to be the TV Jeff area. Um, we're really uh, expanding uh, the scope of the drill program this year uh, with about 25,000 meters focused on the TV Jeff trend. Um, and we're really going to try to show that there's a about a five kilometer trend of VMS style mineralization. Um, I'd say our, our work last year started to suggest that this was the case, that we have a much larger VMS uh, precious metal rich VMS system. And uh, it, it's looking like with our preliminary work so far in the field this year that that is the case. We've actually, uh, particularly on our Jeff North targets that we um, mentioned in that previous um, interview on May 10th, we've seen that that's actually intensely solidified hydrothermally altered trend that goes for at least one kilometer north of Jeff. And that's actually where we're drilling right now. And that's, you know, what this uh, map right here is showing up in this northernmost areas where our uh, active drilling is at this point. Um, currently, we have two drills on the ground. Um, our third one is mobbing today, and we'll have our, a fourth drill running uh, within a week. Um, and we're, we're about to hit 1,000 meters so far um, as of tomorrow. So we've actually got quite a head start on the season compared to the past couple of years. And uh, we have a, a very robust target generation um, method that we've developed that's actually starting to show results based off of our um, field investigations. I just wanted to do a show you kind of a cross section through this TV and Jeff area. Um, you know, we're, we're 
doing a multi-component approach here where we have geophysics that we've done over the past two years. Uh, this is uh, our induced polarization or IP cross sections, which we've been able to show uh, these resistivity anomalies correspond very well with hydrothermal alteration and mineralization um, at both TV and Jeff. And we're able to see that these anomalies continue along strike in areas where there's never been any drilling. So this is really uh, one of the main methods we're using for target generation, uh, particularly in coordination with uh, some of the soil sampling we did last year that shows some very robust um, silver, arsenic, and mercury soil anomalies associated with these geophysical anomalies. And as I said, boots on the ground so far this season has confirmed uh, that a lot of these anomalies in areas with no drilling do correspond to intense hydrothermal alteration on the surface. So it's very encouraging so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Quinton recently introduced the Excelsior target and similarities between that and early indications from TV and Jeff. Uh, could you tell us a bit more about this target area? Yep, yeah, I'll go right back uh, to this uh, map view right here. This is our SkyTim uh, survey we flew in 2020. And uh, what we've seen is that uh, the known areas of mineralization at TV and Jeff correspond to these conductivity anomalies. And you see several of them along this eastern trend here, the east limb of the SK anticline. There's a lot of these anomalies. You know, you see a lot of these anomalies right here and here. That corresponds with known mineralization. Uh, this anomaly we're testing right now corresponds with alteration, but the Excelsior uh, targets over here have not been drilled before and we're seeing uh, anomalies that have a very similar um, intensity and morphology compared to the ones we're seeing at both TV Jeff and Jeff North up here. So uh, it's looking pretty encouraging uh, that uh, we're actually going to find more mineralization over here on the eastern limb of the SK anticline. And we actually have some soil sampling that does show uh, that we have uh, some uh, soil anomalism over in that area as well. So we'll be getting boots on the ground there uh, within the next couple of weeks. And I will be evaluating that area for drilling this season. Uh, and let's discuss the targets outside of this area. Can you give us an update from these targets and, and what will be focused on in this program? So uh, as I had mentioned, you know, predominantly this TV Jeff trend, um, we're gonna be drilling about five kilometers of it. However, uh, we have our soil sampling and geological teams are actually exploring a nine kilometer trend of uh, sky tim anomalism and uh, what we're starting to see is hydrothermal alteration associated with sulfides over a nine kilometer trend here. However, our Scarlet Ridge target up here and the northeast part of the property is our, our second highest priority. Uh, there's really never been any drilling up at Scarlet Ridge. Uh, there's been some at what's called the AP and Tarn Lake targets that's about six kilometers to the southwest uh, of Scarlet Ridge. And as soon as the snow melts, we'll be getting boots on the ground up there and doing a systematic anaconda style mapping campaign, which is basically where we not only map the rock types and the structural geology, but the hydrothermal alteration and the mineralization and we've got about 8,000 meters of uh, drilling uh, reserved for uh, these Scarlet Ridge and uh, Tarn Lake AP targets up here in the northeast part of the property. Um, we're also going to be doing an extensive anaconda style mapping program down here in the southern part of our property around C10, Vermilion, um, and Spearhead. Um, and we also have got um, quite a number of other showings uh, that have been indicated by our 2020 BLEG survey that we'll be getting boots on the ground. So we have a dedicated prospecting team that will go out and hit nearly every single target on this property. If that warrants any follow-up, uh, we will be uh, sending out our mapping team to do more uh, work on that. 
And if we see something that's really phenomenal, we'll, we have the flexibility to get a, a drill out there because at this point, the entire property is permitted for uh, drilling at this point. Okay, excellent. Um, and to finish things off for our listeners, could you give us a quick overview of why investors should keep an eye on SK Mining in 2022? Well, you know, part of it is the uh, the big district-wide potential that we have up here. Um, you know, as we've been able to show just with TV and Jeff, uh, we actually do have uh, some very good intercepts, uh, some very high-grade intercepts at TV and Jeff to uh, deposits that are actually written off by a lot of the uh, historic operators up here um, because they just felt that it, it wasn't at this Eskate Creek stratigraphy. Well, what we found over the last uh, couple of years is we actually have six favorable horizons for mineralization. It's actually a pretty myopic approach just to target the contact mudstone when there's six other uh, horizons to target. We have stacked VMS systems lying along several geological trends, um, which, you know, really, it, it makes it almost like shooting fish in a barrel as far as finding the VMS on the property. Uh, the the big, uh, you know, unknown is just how much gold and silver there is in these VMS systems. And that's something we'll just have to wait uh, for assays uh, for. But, you know, I'll go through this. We do have... Um, several pads built right now and we are getting drill coming in we are on target uh to uh hit our thirty-five thousand meters this season i mean we're already pushing a thousand and we're three weeks ahead of where we were last year as far as starting drilling so we're being very bold and ambitious this year and we've got a plethora of targets to hit yeah it sounds like and sounds like you have a very busy year ahead Thank you so much, John, for your time. And we're looking forward to hearing more from you soon. All right. Thank you very much, Megan.